Hi everybody and welcome back. After a two month hiatus, another Solar Divine is finally on offer. Thankfully, this is one of two Solar Divines I'm missing out of now. Not counting Pluto, we do still have three more Solar Divines to go. So the Solar Divines that have not yet been released are Venus, Eo, and Neptune. I'm not gonna count Uranus with that because once you get Venus, you breed her in order to get Uranus. So we do still have three more Solar Divine offers left. Neptune is the other Solar Divine that I am missing. With Pluto, in order to get passes from him, we'll go to his page, we'll look. When riding around the Andromeda Galaxy, it has a chance of finding 10 passes. With all of the Solar Divines, you have their own separate set of rides to go on in order to increase their skills. For Eo, you get to go around rides on Jupiter in order to increase his skills. And for Pluto, it's the Andromeda Galaxy. My understanding with Pluto's drop rate is that it's about 10 passes just once a week that he'll drop them. That's about 30. 40 passes per month or so and also my understanding from what I've read in the forums is that it's only the first ride that you go on for the day that will give you the chance to drop passes so like for Rio for example let's just say this was Pluto if I wanted to go on one hour ride increments at a time to get multiple chances of winning passes for the day that won't work it's just the first ride of the day that will give you a chance so you can just do your four hours worth of rides and that's your only chance of winning passes for the day so I think that's it. He is in golden fleeces. I I have mixed feelings about this. I know I know I really tend to dislike the Titans challenges, but I had eight Titans challenges in stock and ready for this offer, whereas with the fleece I only have one. These are a lot more difficult to get because they're not offered by as many divines. They're not offered in events as often as the Titans challenges are. I do have two Themis' scales that I can use, and then I have a staff. So let's go ahead and get started. And if I'm able to multitask, I'll talk about kind of why the pros and cons I have about the Titans challenges and the fleeces. So let's get started. First golden fleece. Also, from what I'm understanding, I think it'll take around 6,000 passes, someone said, to fill the meter. He's averaging around like 20 something fragments. He shouldn't be as expensive as Saturn, but I'm committed anyway. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I want sun, so here we go. So this is nice. I did get a three-star golden fleece, which is the most you can get. I would like a harmony pack. This is my favorite out of the bunch, but you know what? I'm going to go with the Morpheus's arms because sometimes I can actually trade for a couple golden apples with this. So for me, I'm probably going to keep picking the Morpheus's arms for this. I think this is the best item out of the bunch. Okay, and that gave us 30 fragments. I'm happy with that. Let's use the staff. Yeah, let's go with the staff. One star for this one. And I'm going to go with the Achilles heel for this because to me, I have the best luck trading this in the exchanges versus any of these other items, which I have over 100 Lears, Fortunes, and probably Parchments by now. I'm sure I do have uh, over 100 Lears. I do not like the Apollo Slayer. It's terrible. So let's go and open up my Themis' scale. Again, I have two of these and I'm going to use my NYX pack, which uh, it really bothers me that this list here is not in alphabetical order. And then we want three golden fleeces. This list is in alphabetical order. So there's my fleece, three fleeces, and we're just going to open up. Uh, we're just going to use one Themis' scale at a time. This is my third fleece, by the way. I'm going to take another Achilles heel because that was one star. Holy cow, we got 43 fragments. That's a huge jump. That's a 20 fragment jump. Not that I'm complaining, but holy cow, that was a... Uh, that was unexpected. I, I didn't expect that. So maybe 20, the 20 something fragments was not quite the average. That seems rather low. I think that was my fourth fleece. I'm already losing track just because I'm kind of amazed at that 40 at that 43 fragments still. So I'm just gonna have to go back at the end and count to see how many fleeces I'm using. That one's 36. I'm happy with that. Now we have to go open up Themis' scale. Use the Themis' scale. I don't know what the appropriate term to use is for the Themis' scale because you don't actually open it, but I do have to give up a Nyx pack. And we're gonna get three more fleeces. And then if I don't get Pluto within these three fleeces, I have to start using my passes. Here's a fleece. 
All right, what do we have? Another one star. So this is one of the cons I have with the fleeces. On one hand, you do at least get a black market item with each fleece that you open. However, it's only the three star fleeces. Oh, come on, scratch. It's only if you get a three star golden fleece that your items will equal what the fleece costs you because those one star items don't even equal, I don't think any of those items equal 100 passes. Before the pass economy revamp, those items could not be bought in the black market for passes. I think we just got Pluto. Uh, I think that's Pluto. When you see fragments like that, I think that means I got Pluto in the golden fleece. <laughs> I think I did. Did I get Pluto? <gasps> yes! Ah! That was so cheap! Oh my gosh, I did not touch my passes, did I? No, that was, uh, what was that? Six, I think I used all all fleeces from my Themis's scale. I am slightly disappointed. I only got, what, two? I hope I click Morpheus's arms for that last one. <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. I'm amazed. I got Pluto in less than 10, six, seven, eight. I think I, I think I only opened eight fleeces. Holy cow. That's awesome. So maybe I shouldn't complain about the fleeces so much. Maybe that was just pure dumb luck because that that's pretty amazing, I have to say. That was a bit anticlimactic, though. I was prepared to sit here and do this for a good 20 minutes like I've had to do for Mars, like I've had to do for Jade, like I've had to do for Ruby, like I had to do for Saturn, but... Nope, I spent, I think it was eight fleeces on him. Like I said, I did not touch my passes at all, which is pretty good because what do you want to bet that when Neptune comes around, my luck is going to do back to being absolutely terrible. I'm going to have to use up all of the passes that I have. So awesome. I've got Pluto. I kind of want to open more, but we're not going to. I just am not. I'm kind of disappointed about the items that I got though, but um, I didn't get any. I want the aging point for whatever reason. I didn't get any two star fleeces. I got two Two fleeces that contained three stars. So I did get two Morpheus's arms. And then I got a few Achilles heels. Also, I did go back and check my item inventory. I opened eight fleeces. I think I was saying seven before it was eight fleeces. But I'm I'm totally happy with that. I know I'm getting nitpicky and I'm whining about not getting good black market items from those other fleeces. But I really am happy that I, I opened up only eight fleeces to get this horse. Because if the drop rate is not that great, then I didn't really want to have to spend a lot on it. Also, I've so far had to spend... A heck of a lot of items to get both Mars and Saturn because those were super expensive. I was really close to having to fill the meter, meter with each of those horses. So I'm just going to board him in my own EC because I don't really have to pay attention to trying to conserve his energy on doing anything. It's not like I have to win competitions with him. I don't have to do a bunch of rides per day. We just get to go on one ride. So I'm just going to go on one ride for now and he didn't win me passes today but that's that's fine then I'll do lessons with him every day just to help my own EC gain iron so I'm I am happy with that I got two Morpheus's arms and then what was that five Achilles heels with that so I'm happy hopefully I can turn those Morpheus's arms into golden apples that will be even better I might even be able to exchange those Morpheus's arms to get Titan's challenges but if Pluto or not Pluto if Neptune ends up being in the golden fleeces as well that might <laughs> that won't be any help that won't be helpful at all the reason why Pluto was in fleeces this week and not Titan's challenges unlike the other solar divines is because we already had a divine on offer in the Titan's challenge we've pretty much never had two divines in the same item at once so because the titan's challenge was already occupied this weekend pluto had to go and be in something else and he's too valuable to be in hordes of plenty so that's it for today i hope everybody else had as good of luck as i did in opening up these fleeces let me know how your fleeces turned out thank you so much for joining me today and i hope to talk to you soon bye